Let's make some feathers. Not only they fast and easy to make, but they also no cost uh, embellishment idea. The only thing I will be using is some glue and an old book. In this case, beautiful music notebook. I got it from a friend from Massey. My my bestie, if I call her, <laughs> she have gifted me this uh, when I was in Belgium, visiting her and teaching in Belgium uh, a few months ago. Uh, she gave me that beautiful book and I actually lost it. I didn't know where it is, but I found it and I could not wait to share some idea with vintage pages. Uh, such a simple things, uh, but such enjoyable to make as well. You will need some paper and maybe a wooden stick or a thick a thread, glue and scissors. That's it. So let's start. Let's have that uh, page and this is how big my feathers are going to be. I'm going to make three going here and here. Uh, so, And I'm going to show you both versions. I'm going to show you with a stick and I will show you with a, with a, th a thread as well. So I'm deciding that I'm gonna go for three smaller ones <clears throat> roughly around that size that length of my string now I like the fact that the string is you can kind of see it through a little bit the line so the thicker you make it the better for you and I also used uh, just a pretty stick ordinary glue nothing fancy you can use old books, you can use old music book, books, you can use scrapbook papers, you can really use anything. I just like the idea of using them, old uh, pages, music notes. My book is huge as you can see, it's huge, it's beautiful and I plan already some projects uh, using them pages. What a beautiful way to recycle as well. So I'm going with my glue. I need a bit more <laughs> and I'm going th I'm, I'm adding three lines not too thick because I like the glue to be more in the middle than on the sides so don't go too thick if you uh, if you add in glue and this is our middle uh, somewhere around the middle same for here this is our middle and this is our middle. I like to use maybe the thicker end uh, as the sticking out element. Now I will add a little glue here as well on top of my strings and on top of my wooden element. And there we go. We're just gonna simply <coughs> cover that and glue it together as you can see. Now, the older books, they could be quite fragile and delicate, so be very careful. You could rip it off. I have done some, I did rip off some, I think this one, didn't I? No, I don't know which one, <laughs> but I have uh, ripped off a little bit when I was trying it, so be very careful when doing it. And now you have to kind of try to find them, uh, to divide them, so try to find a middle in between. Well, the easiest is to look here, so somewhere in the middle here, and I'm gonna cut that same for here and your next step is to decide <clears throat> what sort of shape you wish now probably the easiest is to just do this sort of uh, ovalish long <laughs> shape it's like ovalish diamond <laughs> or something like that. So there we go. This is what we have. Maybe keep your old pretty papers to do it some for some collaging. Now there are another thing. You can just go delicate and cut out just a bit like this kind of way and then you just have a different sort of looking uh, feather or you can just go over with your scissors and that's what I'm gonna do. Now I've practiced, as you can see, a little bit on my feathers already, so I kind of have an idea what I like the best. And what I like the best are two things, two little important tricks to make it look, I think, as pretty as this one. Which means, the smaller lines, the, the more cuts, the better. Second thing, it would be nice if you go, instead of like here, 
if you go more like this. So not like that, cutting your your lines, but more of the uh, of the angle, bigger angle. And also maybe before, I wish to stain my feather like here. So I'm gonna use distressed ink before cutting, and we do that after cutting as well. Just a little touch of of distress uh, ink just a little bit here and there mm -hmm. on both sides now you may wonder why would you need that f feather you could use that on a dream catcher such a popular theme now so many people is doing dream catchers uh, which is a beautiful idea I'm sure I'm gonna come up with some of my own <laughs> I'm tempted now after seeing so many beautiful creations in the past year, year or two it's still very popular um, but you could use it as your bookmark a beautiful idea for a bookmark I think or a card like that and I think with such a beautiful writing feathers appear when angels are near it's just so meaningful and I think it's so hard to find um, the right words the right images for a very difficult subject in life so I think it's a fabulous idea plus not only it's cheap um, no cost idea nearly but also it's just different and it's your own homemade homemade handmade <laughs> embellishment so now I'm gonna start off with going more of an angle towards the middle section and I'm trying to make sure that my my hair can you see? oh sorry my hair are as thin as possible I, I think it's good to try several times and feel what best works for you and what sort of cutting and what sort of uh, uh, thickness it works best uh, for you and go on and so on and do exactly the same thing I'm starting more upright than on the side and just going a bit thicker thicker here thinner here so to go more of the angle after oops afterwards very fast and easy and I think such a as well nice idea for kids uh, for kids art you could add it to cards as you could see you could add it to your projects um, they are beautiful as well as leaves uh, on its own you could paint it different colors and treat them as leaves so um, you know there are so many ways of doing that I would finish off as well this with I'm gonna show you I would, first of all, it would be nice to most definitely to kind of spread them around more and as I said, as thinner the nicer it, it looks as the bigger angle, then the better as well that's what I've learned after <laughs> I think this was my first feather and I like it uh, but it's it's nice, it's nice, don't get me wrong but I like the the shape I like this more maybe it's more leafy well I like them both but definitely this thicker one uh, they don't appear as visible uh, and so delicate as hair of the real feathers so that's just my idea and I would finish off as well adding a touches of this ink just to finish off delicate and don't be afraid to even you know, in the nature, the feathers, they're not perfect and even. <laughs> so you can just go on with it and make that appearance really beautiful. And your feather, beautiful feather, is done. Now I here, I have tuckled this in here and glue it together, that kind of way. And I've used glue gun here, I'll show you. So I've used a little bit of hot glue here, <clears throat> tuckled, tuckled this in there, so yeah, you could even hang that <laughs> if you wish, or just have it as your embellishment and your feather is ready. I hope you like that quick tip video. Uh, 
a little life hack, a little craft hack I would say. I hope you will uh, make your own uh, leaves, let me know what you think and I will thank you so much for visiting my channel. As always for leaving your beautiful comments, words of support and love, love, love. I love that as well, reading that makes me smile always. Um, let me know what you think and what would you like to see. What other ideas you have to use the old book pages, old music note pages, what ideas? Let me know, leave them down below in the comment section. I would love to hear from you most definitely. Thank you so much, until the next time, bye! <laughs> bye bye!